Hey guys, it's Hope. I'm back and I believe I'm going to uh, whew, finish up this chapter. Okay, and then we have Draw the Line by Kate Alex, Kate underscore Alex, two T's, two X's. For your discussion is obviously advised because this is, of course, more mature story. If there are any things I need to write in here, I will tell you. Anyway, bye. Oof, let's get into it. Oh, stop being dramatic. None of us are dating anyone. I don't like Neville. <laughs> like, don't like Neville that. And Draco's too chicken to tell Potter, he likes him. I just said I don't like him, Jacob shouted, glaring at Lacey. You guys got to help. Got to help me find a girlfriend, Pansy said. Jacob over Draco's complaining. The player Pansy actually wants a steady relationship, Lacey said, in a mock of surprise. Well, okay, weird accent here. Pansy swatted at his like playfully. I'm not a player. Just because girls actually like me doesn't make me a player. Ouch, that stings. Especially as I don't like them either. Boise grabbed his chest and fancy rock. Boise grabbed out his chest and fancy whacked him in the back of his head. Hey, you know what I mean. I just, it just think it'd be nice to actually find someone for our final year here, don't you think? I know we all joke, but I really think we should try and just have a normal year. And if you like Potter, there's really nothing wrong with it, Draco. Draco groaned and <laughs> threw his head back. And you, Blasey, you should just admit, you should just admit it if you like him. In my opinion, I think he'd say yes. And if he doesn't like guys, we both know he's too nice to be mean about it. Yeah, I know. Do you really think I should tell him, Blasey said, turning his head away from Pansy, surprised. Expression, shoo. So you admit it, you like him. I was right. Pansy shouted, shh, keep it down, somebody's coming. Blasey shouted nervous, look at the door. And they all turned for a moment. Nobody's going to hear us, Pansy laughed. <laughs> anyway, we need a plan. Let me get the notebook. Dun, dun, dun. Pansy jumped up and ran out of the room, leaving Blasey and Jacob to laugh. I guess the notebook is the notebook where they do all their scheming in. Ooh. Pansy always brought it up. Just brought it to every school year, even though it remained mostly empty. Oh, so they don't want to leave a paper trail? <laughs> Pansy returned with the pink notebook and resumed her position on the bed and opened it up, scribbling the curse of the neat curse of Plan Blasey X Neville. Can we not write it so blatantly across the top? Someone might find the journal, Blasey groaned. Who's going to read it? It says in my room. And Hermione isn't one to like to go around snooping in my stuff. She respects my privacy, unlike you. You want to talk? There is no privacy with you either, Draco pointed out, shuddering at the memory of all the time. She had no respect for her, for a personal space, like when she walked in on him in the bathroom during an awkward time. Or when she found his journal, which she read at full volume to her, to her, their friends, and laughed at for an hour. I give you plenty of privacy, Draco, and privacy. Draco and Blasey shared a look. There is no such thing as privacy between us. Blasey laughed and leaned back. Anyway, about this plan. Oh yes, Pansy said, turning back to the notebook and proceeding to narrate. Step one, compliment him. What are we first years? 
what are we? First years, Blasey said. Shut up. Step two, flirt with him. You know I can't flirt, Draco sniggered. Hey. You know you can't flirt, Draco sniggered. Hey. Both of you shut up. We're doing your next. You next, Draco. Draco gulped. Step three, ask him to hang out with him, with him outside of the project. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I cannot do that, Blasey said, looking at the list slightly panicked. Yes, you can. We'll help you, Pansy said. I have no idea what I'd ask him to do. Again, we'll help you. Okay, step four, Pansy state started to say before she could open the door. Pansy slammed the book shut. Oh, uh, I was looking for Malfoy. Oh, that was so close. Harry stepped in the door, looking equally part nervous and suspicious. He hadn't missed this, the slamming of the notebook shut. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go down. Where is he, Pansy? Well, he, well, he is here. Well, here he is, Pansy said. Way too happy for Draco's state. Go on, Draco. Pansy smirked at Draco. And he shot her a glare of return and follow Harry out of the room. What was that about? Harry asked, climbing the stairs to the dorm room. None of your business, Draco responded a bit harshly, which made Harry slightly mad. You look awfully suspicious. <laughs> Harry pushed. If only to piss off Draco. I do not know what you're talking about, Draco, as they reached the door and opened it. You do too. What are you up to and now? <laughs> We're not up to anything. Just leave it be. You always have to stick your nose in business. And it's not. And it's getting on my nerves. Well then, don't do things like prompt me to worry. Oh! <laughs> Draco paused for a second. As for a moment or two different imper- interpretations of that went through his head. Harry was worried for him, or Harry was worried he was going to do something evil again. I think he was worried for both. Uh, he chose to interpret it as the later, later, as it gave him a reason to argue. They had been too friendly lately, and they needed to return to normal. You always just immediately assume I'm up to something. Well, you're always up to something. I'm not always up to something. Maybe I want to some sort of privacy from you for once. You've been stalking me since first year. For some weird reason, Harry felt suddenly very defensive and angry. He hated the way Draco could always get a rise out of him. I've not been stalking you. I was trying to make sure that you were, and your band of Death Eaters didn't burn the whole school down. Oh, Harry knew he went too far as Draco recoiled. Well, he was. He was being truthful. Draco had been trying to shed the title of Death Eater, but he, but it would always haunt him, and for Harry to bring it up. It seemed like a smack in the face. The only one who stood up for him and his family against the Wazimonts, or whatever, calling him a Death Eater was too much. He immediately raised his arm. Hermione heard something. Oh, they were about to do it or something. Hermione heard something, and the shouting started along with everyone else. She knew from the experience, and well, I'm going to get to she found her walking down the hall. Okay, I'm going to get McGonagall, Hermione said to Ron as she rushed out of the room. She found her walking on the walking down the hall almost immediately and quickly told her what was going on in Draco and Harry's drawing room. Draco had Harry pinned on the floor and was about to land another punch as they ooped the floor. Then and like dang it's getting real okay i'm sorry i gotta continue the party plan chapter 11 okay 
Jacob and Harry found themselves seated in front of Miss McGonagall's desk in a matter of minutes. McGonagall gave them both a disappointed stare as they stared at their shoes. I cannot believe you two couldn't even make it two weeks. Well, he started it. He didn't always start. Well, if he didn't always start, Harry began and McGonagall sent him <laughs> a snap. I don't care who started it. Do you understand the yes, headmaster? The both said in unison. Great. Then one that note. Then on that note, I'm making changes to your punishment. Both Harry <laughs> felt very hopeful. Maybe she'll let us stop hanging out. From now on, you're not allowed to complete your punishment up in your room. Oh, it's over. It's over. They're screwed. Since you two can't control yourselves in private, you need others to keep an eye on you. Both boys groaned. Oh my god. How could it possibly get any worse, Harry thought. Now, not only did Harry have to get, hang out with Draco, he had to also do it with him in public. If I have to this conversation again, I will have no choice but to take more extreme measures. McGonagall paused to let it sink in. You may, you may go. I don't expect you to finish your punishment today. You both clearly need a break, but I do expect you to do so in public tomorrow. woo With that, both boys got up, left, eager to get out of the office. The second they got back to the common room, they immediately split up. Harry walked over to Ron and Hermione, who were talking quietly in a corner with Dean and Sidney. Okay, Harry, Hermione noticed him walking over and stood up. I can't even, he's probably going to say. I'm sorry, that's not what he says, but that's what he's probably going to say. Harry said, try, I know Hermione. Wait, no, Hermione noticed him walking over and stood up, rushing over to him. You need to stop fighting with him. Look at your face. You, I know, Hermione, he said. Harry said tiredly and popped down into one chair. I, I mean, I'm just going to read this the way I'm reading this. He just always is in the mood to fight. You can't just blame it on him. I know you are both involved, Hermione said as she came to sit down. I am with Hermione on this one, Ron pipped up. Malfoy always starts everything, Hermione glared at him, which promptly shut him up. Well, I'm telling you to stop fighting, won't, fighting, won't change anything, Hermione said. <sighs> While you were in McGonagall's office, we were discussing starting weekly party of sorts. Oh, goodness. A weekly party? Hermione? Harry asked, sitting forward and to lean his elbow on the table. Yeah, like any eighth year that wants to join in. We all play, we play games and stuff, Seema said. It'd be a perfect way to promote inner house unity. Kumbaya. <laughs> Kumbaya. I'm so weird. Anyway, um, Dean smiled over at Seema, who... Uh, Sent the compromisable smile back. I already said no alcohol. Shit. <laughs> see, see, the, now you don't get the truth out of people unless you give them truth potion. So you're supposed to slip truth potion and all that alcohol, guys. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, Hermione. That's what makes it fun, Ron said. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, party games are no fun sober, she just said. No, they're really not. I'm saying no alcohol. If you bring it and get caught... It's on you. Yes, Hermione, you're great. You're great, Ron said, grabbing her <laughs> around the waist and pulling. Okay, towards him, towards him, and placing a kiss on his cheek. Harry watched Hermione try to hide the slight smile. They're really great for each other. Well, bring the alcohol. <laughs> See Miss Plugin? Grabbed Jean's hand and Hermione shook it up and give up, giving up. Yeah, Ron and I can get food from the kitchen 
and could let everyone know Hermione. Everyone know Hermione. You're actually you actually talk to everyone? Harry said, All right, I can do that. How about we do it this coming Friday, Dean said. We should be able to get everything ready by that time. It's nice to to conclude the school with, week with Yeah. And everyone will be hang in their hangovers on Monday, seeing the sun snickering. <laughs> Hermione ignored Seamus' comment. Yeah, okay. I'll make sure to know, to let everyone know. Come on, Jacob, Pansy complained as Jacob did his homework in the common room next to Harry. Literally, I feel like Harry just wants to punch him so bad back now. Mm. It was the first day they had to do their punishment in front of others. Jacob was in a sour mood. He didn't like the looks they were draw- drawing. Draco decided to keep ignoring Pansy as had been for the past 10 minutes. Draco! Pansy lied across Draco's homeless person in the look up. You are the most annoying person I know, grumbled Draco. Draco grumbled. Harry snickered. <laughs> Draco glared at him. Draco glared at Harry. Harry quickly shot his head back down to his work pretend pretended he just hadn't been just listening to the conversation that's my job as your best friend it's also my job to get you to do fun things and this week you should come to the party i already told you i don't want to go come on draco most everyone is going to be there i don't care who's going to be there but i but think about it draco potter will be there too <laughs> Is she just saying this right in front of Harry? You won't you, Potter? And yeah, sure. <laughs> Harry said, I'm slightly surprised. I'm probably just gonna go and get me. I would have been that person who had just gotten drunk in the bathroom. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. Do you really need human contact? Uh, yeah. What are you going getting at, Pansy? Draco said shooting her a nervous look. He really hoped she wouldn't start talking about her weird proclamation of him liking Harry in front of him. Oh, you're going to get embarrassed. You have to hang out with each other for at least an hour one a day on weekdays, right? Well, if you come to the party, then that count as hanging out, right? And you didn't have... As far as McGonagall knows, you didn't really give up the rule any of your rules on that. Draco and Harry both stared at her for a moment. Neither of them had thought about that. Plus, of course, there's always a reason I'm going. I'm going. There's going to be alcohol. (laughs) There's also another reason I'm going. There's going to be alcohol. Draco burst in laughing, and Harry immediately snapped his head. Well, there is. He rarely got to hear him laugh. But when he did... Harry loved the sound of it. Harry couldn't um, couldn't take his eyes off Draco as he laughed. And of course, it didn't go unnoticed as she smirked. Of course you're going to you're going for alcohol. Of course you're going for alcohol. Though well, I didn't even think about that. There's that way that being a way to complete our punishment, Draco said. When he stopped laughing, Harry forced himself to look away. His face turned red. Well, what would be the point of the party without alcohol anyway? Will you come? I'll think about it. You should, Harry said before he could stop himself. Ah! Flushed. Why do you want me to go? Harry, well, Harry said. Back of his neck. It would be a good way to complete a punishment. Was that a question or an answer? Answer. <laughs> You're right. Draco stared at him for a moment. Like, he's probably just looking over like, I'm so embarrassed. I'll come, but if I don't like it, I'm never going again. All right, works for me, Harry said with a smile. And Draco returned to his own work. They started, they stared at each other for a moment. Until Francie cleared it out. All right, I'm, well, I'm leaving, 
good luck with your homework. That's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And this Hope Love signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I will be doing something awesome for 100 subs. And when I get there, you can have the honor of maybe getting a shout out if you leave a comment down below saying what you want. And you might just get picked. Hope you enjoy. Bye.